Hey, whoops. Uh, let me plug in. Hold on. You know, let's see. Testing sound again. Okay, I hope everybody can hear me, which is a lot better. <sighs> I had to change shirts. Ever f try to feed a demented person? That's always fun. People ask me, how come you're always changing shirts? You try to take care of an elderly, demented person. It gets really hard on me sometimes. Okay. See that? That's... Tomiyaki. Okay. Basically, it's a Japanese style pancake with cabbage inside. It's a very filling dish. It's usually served for dinner or a snack. You'll see stands in Japan that serve this. I have a fatty piece of pork that's inside as a filling. It's really easy to make, and I keep telling people. You have to learn how to cook, especially one that fits your culture. Okay, a lot of people can't, doesn't know how to cook, and they can't learn how to cook, or they were never taught, or they like, I'll be modern. Okay, let me find that page again. I'll smoke cigarettes and hang out at the coffee bar and be a fem radical feminist and never learn basic stuff. Okay, this is why I'm doing home economics a lot. You need these skills. Next four year is going to be hell. All right, I tell everybody they don't listen. You better have skills. Okay, skills of home economics. And a lot of people forget this, but we'll hire somebody. No one's going to work for you. All right. And that's one of the groups, urban groups of people. There's several. They have no idea what's going on. And this is usually women from 9th, 18 to about 35. And when they finally realize it, when they hit 40, nobody's going to touch them with a 10-foot pole. Okay? It's fine if you've got a college degree. It's fine if you got your feminists and stuff. My great aunt was a doctor. She went to college and she was a feminist, but she was also a Christian. And she uphold Christian values. While she was doing her degree and stuff, she had three kids. All right? And she worked long shift. My uncle helped her out. Seriously. And the family did too. So my older uh, cousins... Told me everything what their mom did. And her mo their mom is a, one of the hardest worker. And also she taught. taught Alright. This woman was. Wasn't one of these people drinking coffee and smoking cigarettes. She did things. And she taught me how to use a 45. Long coal. Alright. And she told me what the hell happened to our family. When the sheriff comes in and torched the family farm. Okay, and she had dementia, and I had to take care of her. All right, it's not fun, folks. When you learn stuff from your family history, and then you learn, like, wait, aren't they supposed to serve and protect the public? Nah, they burned down our property. They went to Manzanar, Arkansas, a lot of places. And, no, they really screwed up, and they shot one of my uncle's in her family in the back and he used to work for the US Navy as a cook and he was a veteran of World War One. he was walking his dog and this the whatchamacallit the National Guard says oh he was too close to the fence okay they never settled that trial so once in a year once in a while in a year I go to Illinois and pee on this man's grave. All right, this is, I hold a grudge. He shot him in the back for walking his little dog. 
and he was like a hundred yards away from the fence. This guy was this well-established racist, well-established draft dodger. He got a National Guard because he had connection and he didn't want to fight in the war. Okay, and one of my uncles got shot in the back because of this racist idiot. So I don't really trust nobody. I don't trust nobody. When your family lose everything and they only had 60 pounds of worth material, okay, my dad worked his butt off because they goofed up. And he worked for Zachary and Foster Farm and he charged everybody a penny a chick during the wartime. And before my house burned down, we had a letter from Franklin Delano Roosevelt for a service for his country. And he had an FBI man, all right, provide security. And he said, U.S. government did a real wrong thing. My dad was third and second generation. This was a big insult, all right? My uncles all served. I have one uncle who served in 101 and also um, 44, 42. Four, four, uh, never have a stroke. And I'm, he's still pissed off because they froze our funds, our asset. So we had nothing. My dad worked his butt off as a chick sexist for Zachary and Foster Farms during the war. He charged them a penny a chick and he was fast. So all the money was put away and saved up and divided for the family. So I know poverty. I know what the hell is going on with our government. So I don't really trust nobody. So I tell a lot of people, you know, you make stupid statements, somebody's going to come over and Take care of you once and for all. That's from, from the last video. Okay? And remember, you don't want to be in that group of people. Alright? You don't want that. I keep warning people, but they never ever listen. So, I don't really care. Okay? The last video is Preppers are Targets. I hope you watch that and understand what's going on. Okay? I'm sorry, that one was a long one. This one's going to be a little shorter, about 10 minutes. Now, a lot of people, other than practice prepper homesteader, is cooking with the sun. Nobody's doing this on the prepper channels. They just stockpile their little gizmos, or they stockpile little cans and stuff. Okay? Now, I did research on this, and I talked to the people who held the symposium in Stockton. You can still get this book. Okay, it's not rocket science, folks. You can put up an oven, it doesn't give off odors, doesn't use fuel, and doesn't use, uh, whatchamacallit, wood. You just put it out in the hot sun. I live in the desert, it's perfect for me. I roasted chicken in one of those. Can you do that? No. Okay, I bake bread in it. I don't show this stuff because I'm not a narcissist. I don't want to get views for this. All right? I don't want to have people where I'm, oh, you're prepared, Uncle Al. Yeah, that's why I'm going to shoot you. Another reason I tell people is pick a cooking subject. This is called the Japanese larder. It's Japanese cooking, because I'm Japanese, okay? I have right now, I just made a type of lox. I had a whole side of Atlantic salmon, okay? That's 50 bucks that I process into lox. A lot of you can't process, a lot of you can't can, a lot of you cannot do any of what Uncle Alan does. All right, and like I said, once I set up, I'll be showing you what I could do. And remember, for all those people who says, we don't need to prepare, I'm writing your names down. I'm tracking you. I will find out where you live. Okay, you're not going to threaten my family or my friends or anybody else because you're now the zombie. You're a threat.
Okay, remember what I told you earlier. Oops. Trapped by stupids in the mental a zombie apocalypse. Okay, you take a good look around you of all those people out there who aren't prepared. Okay, or the people like, we're Zoomers, we don't have to worry about this. Or we're, gener or gener or we're millennials. I will just sing and dance and pray to the unicorn god. But well, somebody's going to come out there and put the unicorn god in its place. So you best be on your best behavior. Okay? Go to church. Listen to your elders. And stop being, I can't say the S word because it insults people. But if you're in one of those urban or suburban groups who did not listen to Uncle Al, you're going to get pounded. Okay? There's a lot of wonderful prepper channels out there. I'm not doing it anymore because I talked to a few friends of mine and they said, you've been screaming your head off for the last 40 years, Uncle Al. Nobody ever listens to, to you. I said, fine, it's time to make money. And if they don't want to listen how to make money and they ask me, Uncle Al, you just got a million dollars. Or Uncle Al, you did this. And we want to know. I'm going to kick you in the nads. I'm going to go over to your house, go up to you, and kick your fat, bloated, saggy butt out of your chair. You're eating Cheetos, and you're trying, how in the hell am I going to make money? And I'm going to kick you in the ass and tell you to get off, your, off the couch and stop eating Takis or Cheetos. Okay? And right now, Uncle Alan weighs about 196 pounds. I'm trying to lose weight. My goal is 160. Okay, and I could still shoot either a single action or a semi-automatic pistol fairly good. And we're going to talk about the 45 ACP later on. Because if you watch Captain Crazy, you know monkey pox is cured by having more gun control. You know evil 9 millimeters have threatened the nation with monkey pox. Okay, it's time to retire the guy. He's out of his mind. And I'll catch you later, folks. You have a nice day. I'll be seeing you. Bye now.